honest, give her um, silence and listen because this woman um, has endured a lot in her life. <laughs> yeah, she's had her ups, she's had her downs. Most of them in bed. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Alright, you're more inappropriate than I am, so with that note, give her a round of applause for Aunt Jenny! I have an outside voice. I could talk about that. Put it right up against Right up? Right up against Right up against her. Right up against her. It's not going to fit in my mouth. Okay? <laughs> what were you talking about? <laughs> Justin! Oh, my God. Auntie Gabby. Justin. Oh, are you ready? Are you ready? No. You are. Okay. Everybody had a good time? Had a good meal? You enjoyed yourselves? Yes? Everybody saw the drink? Because we're going to do a toaster too. So, good evening and welcome. If I can have your attention, everyone, I would like to say a few words. Firstly, a big thank you all for coming. It is always amazing to see what people will do and how far people will travel for free drinks. <laughs> Since I have everyone's attention, I'm looking forward to saying a few words about this amazing couple. For those who don't know me, I'm Auntie Debbie, Justin's mom's sister. I'm thrilled and honored to be here to celebrate this special occasion. As I am sure you all are, especially the proud parents. I have known Justin his whole life, and I'm quite knowledgeable about many, many, many of his adventures <laughs> and life experiences, which often took countless do-overs for him to learn from. Finally got it right. <laughs> about Justin. Uh -oh. <laughs> Not too many, since what you can say about Justin, what can you say about Justin that has not already been said, or that he hasn't already shared about himself? No secrets in his world. Did you know that the first person Justin ever slept with is here to celebrate tonight? Look at Justin's face. <laughs> in the same crib. <laughs> Justin has had many careers in his life, but the one he has the most knowledge about is the best places, especially couches, for resting and sleeping. He has spent countless years of his life couch surfing. Anyone been part of this experience? Anybody have cut Justin sleep on your couch or your floor? Uh, only one person, Mark. I find that hard to believe. Ah, oh, Jeremy! <laughs> Some of you may not know that we are a Disney family. And if you ask our resident experts, Caitlin and Michaela, about any Disney movie, they can quickly tell you which character reminds them of Justin. But when all is said and done, Justin is our Peter Pan. The, the mischievous yet innocent young boy, a boy who wouldn't grow up. The embodiment of the desire to never grow old and take on adult responsibilities. <laughs> <laughs> but that the 
has now all changed. Just last week, during a conversation with Justin, he said, Auntie Debbie, I'm grown up. I'm an adult now. <laughs> just took 40 years, right, Justin? <laughs> <laughs> so he wanted to make sure he got it right. Yeah. Nicola, we appreciate all you have done to help make this happen. <laughs> Want to say a big welcome? You will fit right in being a crazy animal lover. You have joined the right family. <laughs> Also, being a nature lover, you must be excited about becoming a fern. <laughs> and I see that there was a number of baby ferns joining us here today. <laughs> you were both guaranteed an adventure and a good life, oh, suggested. Good. Enjoy. They say a marriage can't truly survive without laughter, and I believe there will be no shortage of that with you two. Would everyone please raise your two classes and join me? You can take mine down. Who <laughs> <laughs> are a toast in celebration of the newlyweds? Justin and Nicola. Justin and Nicola. Nicola. Wow. May you have the life you always dreamed of and make beautiful memories together. <laughs> continue to fly forever. May the best day of your past be the worst day of your future. Thank you for allowing me to be part of this special day. Thanks, So, at this time... Oh, give her a microphone. Are you ready? Okay. Is, it, is this the script book? <laughs> uh, okay. so, uh, how many supposed to play music for him, okay? He just wants to address. At this time, I'd like to share the Garrity Kaiser clan. This is this table here. We're the quiet people. Quiet part of the family. Um, wedding gift, which will be more special if each of you will be part of it. In the foyer is a photo booth for taking some fun pictures. We ask that you all provide some memorable poses for Mr. and Mrs. Fern. You will all be provided a picture to take home. This will be your party favor or your goodie bag. If any of you would like to leave your picture, we have a couple of photo albums where you can leave a picture or complete an index card with your special message for the album. That's dangerous. <laughs> we won't give him a pen. We also have a couple of little gifts for you. And they're in this bag, Mr. and Mrs. What is it? Is Mr. and Mrs. Where is this bag? I have a happily ever after Disneyland badge for you to wear. And finally, a special ornament to remind you of the power of love. So you can watch the movie up and have a little ornament to be fine. Oh, Steve wants to know who wrote this. Just who wrote this, didn't you? <laughs> In closing, I'd also love to give a huge thanks to the staff, family, and friends who are making this event memorable. Cheers to everyone and enjoy the party. Thank you. Aunt Debbie, you're not just a pretty face. That was amazing. Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs>